let me start off by saying that I think adults should be able to do what they want with their bodies um, anytime they want for the most part. If it makes you happy, cool. Now, while I believe there are a lot of similarities between males and females, no one can sit there and tell me that the natural differences between males and females do not give males a physical advantage over women. Yes, we're talking about transgender athletes. Once again, let me say I hold no malice over transgendered people. Like I said, you should be able to do what you want with your body for the most part. I do take issue with transgender athletes though, particularly trans women. I'm going to be blunt with you. I think it's completely unfair for a biological man to compete in a physical sport or an athletic event against a biological woman. As we move forward with sports in the world, more and more trans women, biological men, are popping up all around. This has become ever more apparent with the addition of trans women, biological men, to women's Olympic teams. I think it's a travesty. You're telling me it's okay that a woman can train and beat up her body in an attempt to obtain the pinnacle of athletics just to be displaced at the top by someone else who grew up most of their life developing through a male body. Nah. Males typically have larger organs. When I'm thinking about sports, I think particularly about the lungs. At the same height and weight, women typically have 10 to 12% lower lung volumes than males. I would imagine this would give trans women an advantage in the sport. Even bone density is an advantage for trans women as we talk about putting our bones and our muscles under stress as done during Olympic weight training. Notice I said growing up or developing as a male. I say this because nowadays, even those running the Olympics believe that if a trans woman, a biological male, takes estrogen or some type of hormone blocker, it's fair for them to compete against the biological woman at this point. They believe that if their testosterone is within a certain range, that it's okay to compete against biological women. That's mad stupid. Taking estrogen or having your testosterone levels reduced to a certain degree before an event or when you start competing as a woman does not negate the fact that you spent years developing as a male. People know this stuff, whether they say it out loud or not. Let me give you an example. At least in the army, male and female standards are not equal in the military. I was a medic, and yes, women could become medics. There's no issue with that. Now, the army would tell you that men and women were expected to have the same physical workload capacity. So in regard to being a medic, that means moving casualties, big people and gear and stuff like that at any time. But the standards for females in regard to testing were far from it. In the army physical fitness test, females had a lower standard on the push-ups and the run. If they had a lower standard on the sit-ups, it wasn't very much. But what's funny is now that the army has adopted the ACFT, which brings the standards much closer for males and females, there's huge blowback because females aren't doing as well now. Everyone knows about the differences between males and females. It's pretty much time to stop playing games with this stuff. Personally, I think it's a bit malicious for a trans woman Biological male. to compete against males, not succeed, then later profess themselves as women so that they can be crowned top tier athlete in their sport. It's worse because it always seems to go one direction. When is the last time you've seen a trans man, which is a biological woman, compete against men and be successful? To my knowledge, I don't know one. I mean, even in NASCAR, which is a non-athletic sport centered around rednecks, Danica Patrick in her nearly 200 race career never won a single race. On the flip side though, we see trans women, biological men, absolutely wrecking women. Let me say it again, absolutely wrecking women. I hope I'm not saying too much when I say this, but I also feel like feminism is failing women when it comes to this matter. Third wave feminists believe that men have all the power. If that's the case, then why are you letting biological men claim a space that was specifically designed for you? Come on.